Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we are looking at this 2021 Nissan Sentra 2.0 liter SV model. I am going to be showing you how to change the spark plugs. I'm actually going to show you on the number one and the number four, but I'm going to give you a ton of useful information such as the tools that you are going to need, the specification of the torques that you're going to tighten everything down, give you a lot of tips, tell you how much everything should cost and how long it should take. A lot of information comes at the very last minute of the video too. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. All right, here are all four of your spark plugs. You have cylinder number one, cylinder number two, cylinder number three, cylinder number four. They are all gonna be the same. You don't, not much is gonna change between each one of these cylinders. The difference is, is getting to each one of your coils. You can see this number three is blocked by this filter on the EVAP system, but don't worry too much. This filter, if you wiggle it up, comes right off. Take this hose off, you can move it off to the side. Now you have access to your number three cylinder. So again, I'm gonna show you how to do this on one of these two real quick, and they're gonna be the same for all of them. So number three, you can get to right there. It looks like your hardest cylinder is gonna be your number four. But again, that's just hardest because it's a little crammed right here, but we'll remove that coil. I'm not gonna take the spark plug out. I'll just do that number one. Again, hardest one looks like number four, I'm gonna show you how to do everything on this number one. So this is the coil. Here is your connector that you need to remove. Push down on the connector, right here. You'll hear the click. I like using a flathead screwdriver to help me out in this, at this point. So push down on the clip. And slide the connector off. Try not to pull on the wire as much as possible. You don't want to pull the wires out of this connector and give yourself a poor connection right here. So be careful when removing this. We got the pigtail off, the connector off. Now we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the retaining screw right here. 10 millimeter. While you're watching, please comment below with the year, make, model, and vehicle that this video helped you get your project complete. Like, subscribe, and share as well. Lift directly up or straight up on the coil pack coil itself sorry not a coil pack there's just one of them there's your coil when you remove these if you remove all four you want to make sure you put the coil back in the same location that you took it out so the number one needs to go back in the number one now if you have a misfire say you have like a p0303 or a p0301 something like that the first step there or first thing that you could do is to move the coils so if you have a p0301 misfire cylinder number one See, you think this coil might be bad. You could switch this coil with per se the number three and back and forth. If now you start the car up, drive it around, now you have a misfire on cylinder number three, you know that the coil is bad because the coil or the code moved with the coil. So that's one way to figure out if your coil is bad when you have a misfire is to swap it with another cylinder and see if the code moves to that cylinder. Let's go ahead and remove this spark plug. Using a 14 millimeter spark plug socket. According to the spark plug manufacturer, a 5 8 spark plug socket works as well, and these are laser iridium factory plugs. It's always easier if you use a spark plug socket that has a magnet inside. And for some reason, the set that I bought, not all of the spark plug sockets have a magnet inside. So, now that the spark plug is super loose, it's just sitting inside there since I don't have a magnet in my socket. I'm going to use a small hose where the spark plug fits inside. I'm going to put this on the spark plug, finish loosening it up, and it'll come right up. So now it's on the spark plug. Look at that. Now in this situation we're just seeing if the vehicle needs any maintenance. With this spark plug, it doesn't look too bad. The electrode doesn't look too far apart. If you think yours is bad, this or the factory specification on these is 43 thousandths. 
of clearance inside your spark plug gap right here. Insert the spark plug into the hose. Into the cylinder. All right, won't go any tighter. The proper torque specification on the spark plugs for this vehicle is 14 foot pounds. Pretty light, but I really like to go to factory specifications. So 14 foot pounds, that's what we're going to tighten it up to. Now when you're tightening it down using your torque wrench, just tighten it down till you get to your first click on your torque wrench. You might not hear it, but I could visually see that it's breaking the, uh, the little mechanism here. So 14 foot pounds, nice and tight. When I reinstall my electrical components such as the ignition coil, I like to add a little bit of dielectric grease on if it's going to work. Put some dielectric grease inside the connection right here and some dielectric grease in my spark plug boot just so moisture stays out of all the connections if possible. Again, so dielectric grease, you can find that in the description below uh, or find a link for this in the description below if you need it. Got everything lubed up. Go ahead and install your coil. Got my screw. I couldn't find a torque specification for this screw itself, but I, if I was gonna use a torque wrench, probably wouldn't tighten it down more than 10 to 12 foot pounds. I'm gonna tighten it down snug tight. Just like that. The connection make sure it clicks make sure it's nice and snug so all of them are going to be the same I already showed you how to get to your number three cylinder let's go ahead and just remove this number four coil so you can see that they're all very very simple with this one looking to be the hardest here's the number four coil down inside so we're going to push down on the little lock Got the connection off. Ten millimeter on a what six inch extension. Screw. Pull straight up on the coil. And you can see with the extension and the spark plug socket you have plenty of access right there. So let's go ahead and put this coil back on. You can see all four of these cylinders are going to be the same way or the same procedure to remove them and reinstall them. If this video does help you out, make sure you comment below with the year, make model and vehicle that this video did help you on. If you need any tools or parts, look for a link in the description and you should be doing your, uh, spark plugs change about every 90,000 miles on this vehicle. If you take it to a shop, a procedure like this should probably cost you around 150 bucks ish uh, to get it done. If you do this at home, you'd probably spend 50 bucks on the spark plugs and some dielectric grease. Save you a couple bucks. But that's it.